President Jimmy Carter's national security advisor, Zbigniew Brzezinski, has died at the age of 89. For the past four decades, a Polish-born Brzezinski remained an influential voice in U.S. foreign policy. News Hour Weekend's Megan Thompson has more. As President Carter's national security advisor during the Cold War years, Zbigniew Brzezinski was seen as a hawk as he managed crises from the Soviet Union to the Middle East. In a statement today, former President Carter said, He helped me set vital foreign policy goals, was a source of stimulation for the departments of defense and state, and everyone valued his opinion. In 1978, Brzezinski traveled to China to initiate talks that led to restoring full diplomatic relations with Beijing. In 1979, after the Soviets invaded Afghanistan, Brzezinski advocated arming Afghan rebels. He also backed the solidarity movement against communist rule in his native Poland. Brzezinski supported the military mission to rescue 52 hostages held by radicals in Tehran, but it failed when aircraft crashed in the desert. Bard College professor Walter Russell Mead knew Brzezinski well. And Brzezinski's ability to package his depth of insight and breadth of vision into a form that worked in the Washington policy process is really an outstanding accomplishment. After the White House years, Brzezinski wrote more than 30 books and was a mentor and commentator. On the NewsHour in 2012, he discussed his book about a shift in global power with the NewsHour's Jeffrey Brown. Global power is becoming diffuse and no longer concentrated in the West or in the hands of the United States. There is no larger organizing vision for a world that for the first time needs to address global problems. Former President Obama said of Brzezinski, I was one of several presidents who benefited from his wisdom and counsel. His ideas and advocacy helped shape decades of American national security policy.